Hello. Hello, divas. Good evening. Hello, Tammy and Michelle. And Denise. Hi, Denise. Let me see who else is, could be here. Oh, my goodness. Tammy, you put in a lot of work already. Oh, my goodness. You'll have to... Um, you have to put them one later on, like at the halfway point, too. Okay, well, <clears throat> I have a couple things to show you tonight. I hope everybody's week has gone well. Um, my week is going okay. Uh, the rest of last week, uh, we finished up the week with the kids. And this week I have off. Yay, the whole week. I'm so excited. A week, two weekends, and Monday <laughs> off. So we go back April, what, 2nd or something? 2nd or 3rd? Um, so that's cool. Um, let's see. Denise, you still here? Michelle, you still here? I know Tammy said she'd be right back. My glasses are so, like, smudged up. Um, I hey Jamie, glad to see you popping in. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? I gave out little cactus plants for Easter on well, we did our Easter this past Sunday because uh Palm Sunday, hey, great. Um, we do it on Palm Sunday so that the other families can go to their opposite families, you know. When you have married uh a married kid and uh, married relatives, they all have like two sets of families to divide themselves and everybody can't be at all places at once. So we do our Easter on Palm Sunday and uh, my Martha Stewart mother went into high gear and we had 12, 12 people, I think, uh, for lunch, 12 or 14, something like that. I helped her with the table a bit. <clears throat> I could have helped you more, but maybe next year. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing well, Jamie. Very good. Denise, I'm so I'm glad you're here, too. And uh, <clears throat> Miss Tammy. I hope Michelle uh, joins us back again. I do have a couple things um, that were requested that I will show you tonight. And what did I do? I'm going to show you the butterflies this week. I showed you last week the whole thing. But... Uh, I gave them out, and it was so funny. I have, you know what? I don't know that I downloaded the picture. I hope that the picture downloaded. Let me go check it out. <clears throat> so I want to show you what my daughter did with the blinged butterflies. Oh, yeah, they're here. They are here. So let me see what I need to download here to show you more. <laughs> My mom always does these amazing centerpieces and she did that again for Sunday. And what she did was, um, wait a second. she used the butterflies that one I can delete. Um, she put the butterflies in her bun. Like she had a, a bun in her hair that she, she stuck all these butterflies in her bun. And it was so funny. She almost, wait. So I want to show you a picture of that. <laughs> and she helped film a framing video last weekend um <laughs> i know i'm downloading more than just that because they were other pictures i wanted to show you anyway here let me go to that and it would be real dangerous if i would be prepared <laughs> Uh, let's see, where are my picks? My downloads. Chicken. Chicken. There we go. I'm going to rotate that right. 
Oops. We'll take that right. Okay, so. Let's see. You've seen the little pots. I want to share my screen. This past weekend's... Uh, oh, that's okay. Oh, I'm glad you were getting your snack. I'm going to share my screen here. Window, this one. And Debbie, hi. Glad to have you. Debbie, no, it's Denise. I'm sorry. Anyway, here's Kate with my... But blingy butterflies in her hair. And I want to show you the next one. <laughs> and then you can really see it there. <laughs> <coughs> Fortunately, it was a wonderful day. Outside on Sunday. And there are the little pots. What could be like me in my life today was... Life today was muted. For the first 40 seconds of my life. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks, Michelle. <laughs> Let me stop sharing here. Oh, now you gotta... I'm... Drinking the leftover of yesterday's Red's Wicked Black Cherry. <laughs> That's my taste of choice tonight. Sorry. Way too much to drink in one sitting. Um, my grandson came in and helped me rig up my other screen to go with this one. And now I need to maybe switch from StreamYard platform to a one that I can use double screens and really see what I'm doing and kind of see chat in a bigger format. So I'm working on that. But I did promise Tammy. You were just talking away and realized it. I know I've seen people do that. I promised Tammy that what I would do is show you guys on camera the ivy's dazzler pen in a little more detail and i don't know if i can switch to my webcam here i'm going to try something i'm going to see if i can share my screen with the webcam i don't think i can hey baby yeah i'm the designated drinker yep <laughs> All right, Sammy helped me set them up, but it does, it's not going to the other thing yet. And my my screen isn't quite done. It'll be done this weekend to go behind me so that I can like take off this background screen and just show you. And then I, of course, I don't have a close up with this camera, so I'm trying to. I rearranged my whole table today, so I'm trying to get it to work. The Ivy's Dazzler pen is the one where you unscrew these things and you fill these things up with the wax or whatever you're using and then screw them back together and gradually squeeze it out of each end as you twist it tight. Now, I've got to refill this this end, so I thought I'd show you. Um, let me get my tweezer because that helps. I tried a little bit of the putty in there. Uh, it came with... Not this wax, but a, a chunky, a thicker wax in little little squares, little chunks. And this one, I love the scent. It's bananas. I got it uh, like two years ago. And it's just hard to scrape it off. <laughs> You're the designated passenger. Anytime, Tammy. Anytime. <laughs> but she had them chunked up into little chunks. So I'm going to use my scissors and cut chunks out of this one. Um, and then you can also use the regular, the blue or the pink wax in it. And I wanted to show you the difference 
these are great for rounds, but I've had trouble with seeing squares because squares are a little bit smaller. And this is the its four placer, and this is a normal four placer. It's just a little bit longer. If you can see that at, in any way, shape, or form, and just a smidgen wider. And it's harder to see down the barrel to make sure you're getting them in the right place because it's a little bit longer than I'd want. But uh, I'm not going to take this off. It's got a mixture of the hard stuff and the wax, the regular wax. So basically all you do is you untwist it and you put the chunks in there. Now, in here I had some putty and I don't like the strings, you know, I don't like the strings that come out. So here I am, I'm untwisting it. I gave up on my webcam. And you can see where the putty has like screwed itself to the screw. And everything else got shoved through there. So I'm just going to take the putty off of here. Even though it smells good, it's not. It leaves these strings. Hi, Dawn. Glad to have you here, hon. Everybody, don't forget to hit the like button. So I'm just taking the, the goop off of the end of the screw. That's what the screw looks like. Okay. And I can either put the blue or pink wax or the chunky stuff. And I know the chunky stuff works. And the last time, sometimes it moves up along the edges of the inside of the lid. So I'm just going to push it down. Push it down, push it down. And it's hard to get all the putty off of it. I don't like to leave little putty crumbs on my uh, on my canvas. Oh, this is nice. Um, cut off a chunk of the banana wax. It smells like banana. And it was in small chunks that were mm, about a quarter inch square is how she had them. Now, the chunks themselves don't go through, but they mush together. These are bigger than the chunks that she made hers. But I'm going to squish them. And I'm going to stick them in here. And you don't really have to do much. I see why she made them smaller, because it goes into the little thing easier. Okay, push that in there. That in there. I'm stuff it down with the. You getting this, Tammy? And then I'm going to cut these chunks a little bit smaller. Really, I didn't have much of a slice at all in here. You can fill it up pretty far. Just so you get the the contact. Would you say, babe? You need to get a shirt made that says some people are like, yeah, slinkies. Not good for a lot of things, but they make you smile when you push them down the stairs. Yeah. That's my husband's sense of humor for you. I wanted to share with my friends, my yearly lung cancer CAT scans were clean. Thank you. Great. Fantastic. We're with you, girl. I think I put too much in here. <laughs> but I'm sure it will squeeze down further as I'm pushing it. Get it in far enough that it will catch the screw. <laughs> you betcha. So what are we all doing this week? Do you have any plans for Sunday or this 
for this Holy Week? Do you go on vacation or anybody going on Easter break? Like um, I hear in Florida where some kids, they don't want the kids down there for spring break. So they're charging, everybody's charging $100 to park anywhere. So they don't want all the, the kids getting into trouble and getting down there. So they're, um, they're charging absorbent fees. I put too much in. I'm sure I did. But there's a lot of air gap in between them, so maybe... <clears throat> you only need a chunk or two and it lasts a long time oh I love the scent I just love the scent and then you screw it in you push the screw in I'm pushing it down the sides as I'm doing it too My granddaughter is here for the week and she will leave Saturday, but that's it. Well, that's fun. That's fun. I hope the weather's good in Colorado. I heard it was snowy, actually. Yeah, the only thing is that you don't want to push too much out the end because then it, like when you're using it, because then it gets all over the drill and it gets all over. I really love this for the, the round that I'm working on right now. It pushed all of that down in there. And now I've got a really good screw base going on here. snowed for two days now it's really cold and oh, that sucks <laughs> no wonder my cousin who lives in denver is in cape may right now working on their house they're trying to get their house ready to open the the building again they're rent doing renovations on the shore house so that they can rent it again they want to have it done by Jan july 4th which is already part way through the season so they're going to be going to be behind on rentals but they're already behind they missed the whole rental year last year we're still working on it but anyway here we go here we go so we had our big dinner on sunday mark made the most amazing baked beans amazing baked beans <laughs> You'll have to tell everybody how you doctored the baked beans. You put them in a crock pot and you add ingredients to it. And everybody loved the baked beans. But we had ham and pineapple stuffing and um, potatoes imperial. And, well, we tried corn pudding, but mom didn't, didn't make it any better than I, than I tried. Okay, it's a little tough, a little stiff, the twist. But once I get it going, it'll be fine. Probably charging a lot due to COVID still going on, and they did and do damage every year. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know if it's due to COVID. They, they It's damaged. They don't want the kids damaging the property anymore. <laughs> Spring break is tough on the properties down there in Florida. Okay. I have to get this down in there to a point where that engages a little bit more. I think I filled it a little too full. I'm sure Mark with his big strong hands could, could link it in easy peasy. I mean, it's so convenient 
just to have this in my hand the entire time and not have to stop to put wax in. It's a little heavier than I'm used to. Um, I could have gotten a smaller one, but I didn't know really. I thought the five inch base, even though five inches isn't a lot and that's small for a pen, I didn't realize that how long the, um, the screw ends would stick out either end of that five inch base. So I could have gotten a three inch base or something instead. But I don't know. But uh, let's see. Here we go. I know you get the idea, but I want to do this anyway. There are more shootings down here in Fort Lauderdale and Miami. And spring breakers are here. Ah, Denise, are you down there? You're down there, huh? Yeah. I just heard that on the news today. Yeah, I'll get it. I know I will get it. Okay. Not, I'll just have more. Get it for me tomorrow. Twist it. We are going to see Ghostbusters movie on Friday. Anybody see that yet? My grandson is there for the second time today. He and his mama are going there for the second time today. Yes, you've seen the Ghostbusters movie this time? Uh, what did you think of it, Denise? What did you think of it? Are the old is the old guard in it or is it just the new the new kids? Oh well. I'm sure I'll get it as I'm working with it, no problem. But it is, it is heavier than I'm used to it. And see how this is the five inch base. I could have done with the three inch base, but um, with these things sticking out. And, and like I said, the ends are a little bit longer and wider than a normal one. But you can still see pretty easily to do it. Good grief. Oh, well, it's trying to go on crooked. That's what it's trying to do. Um. <clears throat> That's why it was trying to not go in there, right? It has to go in straight, huh? Okay, well, that's the way it is. Oh, no, you're in the Fort Lauderdale area. No, you haven't seen Ghostbusters. You're in the Fort Lauderdale area. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. I think it just was trying to go on crooked and it's trying to go on crooked again. Depending on how I loaded it, I guess, huh? Oh, well. Oh, I think it caught. I think it finally caught. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. If that's the only problem I have with these is getting it caught straight in there, then that's not very much of a problem. Okay. The other ones I wanted to show you are the ones I got off of Etsy, and I wish I kept the gal's card with it. Oh, I did. The Cheeky Turtle. Somebody said that they were having trouble with their hands. And these are the ones from the Cheeky Turtle. It's just a pink pen in the middle. And she used, she drilled out the, the center or of a grip, a hand grip. Now, I haven't really used these to diamond paint with. But I would imagine... that it would work fairly well. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Get a green one and a purple one together in one pack. Cheeky turtle. You guys want to see the, uh, the 
firefly trays. I'll do a video on them so you can see some close-up shots of them. Or I, I should say I did a video. I haven't gotten it up yet. <laughs> I already unpacked them. Um, which one? The this one? Yeah. This is the length of a regular one. So the base of it is actually shorter than a regular one, but with the screw ends on it, it's longer. And these screw down closer to the body of it as it lessens what's in it. So, so that um, it gets shorter <laughs> as you use it. It's just balance that I'm trying to come up with, you know. Let's see. So, all yeah. right. From the smallest to the largest. All right. Two of them have their patented, um, their patented little gizmo at the end to open it, to, to dump it out. A little uh, flip tray. You own one Firefly. I believe it's Inferno Nano. <laughs> I don't remember the names of these, but I have it in the video I made because I had the sales slip right next to me as I was doing it. So you'll have to um, watch the video if you're interested. I love this cyan blue, the silky cyan. It just is such a beautiful blue green and the, the light washes it out a bit. But <clears throat> this, I love the tray. It's deep. It's a little firefly thing and a little firefly logo in the end. And it has the little, the little tray, the little trash tray to dump out. Anita, hi hon. Glad to have you here. Hello, hello. I'm just uh, showing my little firefly trays that I got. And it's got a different kind of funnel mechanism. It's a twist out. So basically what you do is you get your fingernail in there or your tweezer in the end of it. And give it a push. I have to get used to doing that. You just have to get it started. That's the difficult part. <coughs> Until it... Um, yeah. Uh, it's not a struggle at all, actually. Until it gets a little looser, which it will. Cyan Waters, maybe. You just have to twist it out, and there it is. It's a twist. Twist in and twist out. So nothing's going to escape, and I just have to make it so that I don't close it completely and just to get my finger in there, and it's easy, easy peasy. So that's the cyan one. I wanted to get this one. This is the perfect size for me. It's small enough to put in my hand, but it's large enough to get enough diamonds in it that I'm not um, changing trays constantly. Not refilling hunting. Come on, get in here. Oh, I had it upside down. That's why it wouldn't go in. There we go. And next largest one. It's called the element. It has a the name on the bottom. <laughs> it's an element. This has the the gate tray. Gate the funnel. <laughs> you stabbed yourself doing tweezers like that? Oh well. Um, so this I got in like it's not pumpkin, it's orange crush or something like that. And it doesn't look deep at the moment, but it is because there are three different bodies in here. 
it has a you push your thumb through it it has the little trash tray but not detachable it's got three different trays to put in it now you can't see it well on here but one is the complete ridges like the normal one one is a grid for single spacing all the way around every one is single space and this one is it's got single spaces around here and around here and all of it it goes from like two a couple rows of two a couple rows of four a couple rows of, of five or six a couple rows of seven and then like one or two of twelve so multi-placing if you do some multi-placing in the middle that that's good for that I wish they had one of all fours. That would be quite perfect for me. Making me nervous. I was making you nervous with the with the uh, tweezers. I know. <laughs> I love orange too, Dawn. So depending on what you're doing, you just snap the you snap it in. You put the the pointy end in first. And snap it in and pop it out with your thumb at the back. So it's got all three trays. This orange is so delightful. I didn't want to get them that they were so dark that I couldn't um, see the drills in it. How often do you have neon orange drills, right? I like the element. I was lucky enough to have one, the very first one made. Fantastic! I use the multi-place one more than the others. I agree they need one with all fours. That's my favorite multi-place one. And I got the long one. Because <coughs> there are times, especially when I'm doing these big color blocking areas, when I do use a 12 or like a 9 or 12. Tammy has no firefly tray. Oh, booger. I have one over there that I got that just it's just has two, um, a, a two-sided tray. But this is just it has the normal uh, stripes on it. It's a white. It's what did they call it? Not, not pearl white, silky white. It's so beautiful and so smooth. This is called Ignite, Ignite Plus. And it's got the normal gate. It's just so beautiful. So when I do the long multi-placings, that's perfect for that. Because when you have a, the long multi-placers, if you're using them, you have to keep changing your tray constantly, constantly, constantly. So those are the three I got from Firefly. Okay, this one is Switch Mini Max. That's what this one's called. Switch Mini Max. That's the blue. Mini Max. That. I like that. The little trash tray that pops out. So that's that. That is... Oh, and I, these things, you can choose not just the color of the barrel, but you... You can choose the color of the metal ends on them, and they are smooth enough. There are no burrs or anything on there. They are smooth enough to use on your crystals and ABs. So it's really, really nice. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, the other one I have is a divided tray when I first got them. And the project I'm going to be doing with you all tonight <coughs> is I started this as a gift for uh, the gal I teach with. It's an electric candle and I'm blinging it. <laughs> I'm gluing some bling on it with B7000 glue. Blinging everything. And I wanted to see if I can bling 
a waxy candle. And I have two of these little alarm clocks, so I thought I'd try to bling an alarm clock. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to compete with, uh, <laughs> trying to come up with unique ideas like uh, Gemma does. <laughs> but I knew I wanted to bling the candle, the electric candle. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you guys tonight. Hopefully by next time, I'm uh, next live, uh, since I have this week to work on it, I hope to be on a different um, streaming platform so that I can make the chat bigger so that I can see it bigger. And then I have two cameras going. I don't want to pay StreamYard so that I have to have two ca that I can have two cameras going when I can do another one for free and have a little bit of a learning curve um, and still do it for free. So yes, Mark, I'm gonna to try to switch to Prism this week. That's not the one that Sammy uses. Sammy uses the uh, stream, stream, stream lab. But he's mostly doing um, he's mostly doing Twitch and Switch and gaming, and that seems to be better for gaming, live gaming. He doesn't do live gaming over the school year, but he does it a lot over the summer. So, as I was just told tonight, <laughs> Firebomb is his handle. So he's going to get back into it after the school ends in May. The end of May, early June. But uh, I guess Mark popped off and wasn't going to tell you how he doctored his baked beans for Sunday. He, um, he put a little ground beef in him, but he put some mola molasses and barbecue sauce in it and then cooks it down for ages. Now I see why she cuts it into teeny tiny pieces. So trying to get the stuff down into the... into there so I can screw it together tighter. I'm going to do it before the end of the stream. So what do you think? Anybody ever bling a wax pillar candle before? What kind of pattern do you think I should put on it? I have to Google some patterns, I think, and see what I like. I always do flowers. But I'm going to use this candle as my spiritual candle, so I don't know. Maybe I should just do swirls. Just pretty colored swirls. Maybe that would be just nice. You know, like those smoky swirls. Then what are you saying no to? No what? You never done a pillar candle before. So I don't know what glue will work on it. I don't know if the heat will melt them. That's what I'm wondering. But it's on the outside, not the inside. And these pillar candles always have this this thing going you know like it'll be on the outside and these will eventually melt in from the top but i just know you don't when you make candles i made the mistake one time of putting dried flowers in the wax because i saw that i thought i saw it one time that way but what they really did was not not putting the dried flower petals in the whole wax candle they just did it along the outside edges and then re-waxed it over top of the outside mine started a fire yeah i know i'm starting another fire right <laughs> that's what this one is this is a flameless well, the gift i'm giving away is a flameless So, yeah, um, I don't want to repeat the, uh, 
the um, the burn of the candle. <laughs> No, I'm not going to line my microwave. I'm still trying to get the stink out of it. I didn't get to do Teresa's tip, but I will. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a bad cough. <laughs> yeah, well, again, I burnt something down. I didn't, even, I didn't even connect the dots. That was a long time ago, though. I was 30 when I did that. 30 years ago. <laughs> so I had to throw out a bunch of jar candles that I that I put pressed flowers into. What a goofball. You know, when you're trying to do crafts to cut down your expense for big holidays, you know? For gifts. I'm still trying to screw this on right. I did it the first time, so I know I can do it another time, but I just don't want it to go on crooked. So far, so good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. But I want you to, like, I want you to be able to see, like Michelle does, um, on her live streams where you can see her hands doing something and a little tiny picture of her on the side. I like the way she uses a two camera system and to do that on StreamYard, And I know she is able to do it for free, but when I get my phone near, uh, near the, the computer, no matter what I do, it starts this god awful screaming. I did it. I got it. I got it. I got it. And the feedback is horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, there we go. So, I cut a chunk off my hippo and stuck it in here. <laughs> my banana hippo. Love the scent, love the scent. Love the scent. Oh, I did some more watercolor too. I do a little bit of watercolor every day. Take 10, 15 minutes and do a watercolor. That's behind me. Um I forgot I had metallic watercolors, so I used some of that, too. I don't remember where I... Did I show you the lock and key? I don't remember where I ended the last time showing you. I think I showed you these before, right? So, I did these, two. And then I did these two. You have half a heart on each side and the little hearts in the middle. And then I did a lock and key and that's in a in like a old gold metallic watercolor. Some of these I looked on Google just for like ideas, but then I did them, I figured out how to do one myself from there. And then my friend said they reminded her of the cookies she used to make. And then yesterday's and today's. And those are my watercolor scenes. I'm going to try to keep doing watercolors every day, even after Easter, almost every day. And I've got a little bit bigger book that I got from Tamu. And it's not going to be just hearts. It's going to be any way of, like, self-giving. I'm figuring out that one of my 
I keep figuring out like it's a new thing that uh, one of my spiritual blockages basically is uh, not uh, not giving enough away um, time talent and treasure you know I sometimes feel like I'm too selfish or too self-centered and I want to practice radical generosity I've got too much stuff um I mean, and you have to practice self-care too. So sometimes you have to have radical generosity with yourself in between times. But radical generosity in that I'm, I'm hoping it comes back to me eventually. Use your Chromebook and your tablet and hook a set of headphones to the table and mute the sound on it. I really should hook a set of headphones to my phone. I was trying to, to try to use my webcam again because that's got the best camera. If I set a headphones to my phone and I have a tablet, I could do that. And mute that. And that doesn't scream, huh, Michelle? I know you do it every week. So I'll try. I'll try. But <clears throat> anyway. Um, so that's, I'm going to keep blinging this tonight as we chat. Uh, I want to keep giving more of myself away. And I think the little bit of, of watercoloring in the morning is going to remind me or help me set my intention for the day of being generous with either my time or my talent or my treasure. And whatever spiritual gifts that God has given me to just give it away, give more away. Um, and then Um, so it's going to set my intention for the day to remind myself. And then at the end of the day, as usually is a spiritual practice called the examen. And basically you ask yourself some questions at the end of the day. And I, I started a long time ago to do my ta-da lists, you know, like listing the things that you accomplished at the end of the day. I know we talked about that one time before. That instead of, a, not instead of, I still have a long to-do list, but to-do lists never end. You just keep scratching them off and moving them and adding to it. They never end and it's like forever. But my to-da list is listing everything I did get done during the day. So this will be ways, I'll also list ways I was able to give myself away in time, talent, and treasure. So that will be my daily examen. At the e in the evening, and I'm going to use my happy planner to record all that. The to do's and the to da's. So that's going to be my spiritual practice starting the day after Easter. And uh, okay, you use the same StreamYard account for both devices. I know, and and it works. You don't, don't you? Do you, does your tablet have to come in as if it is a guest? Do you bring it in as a guest? Then I hit the go live from the main device that will be using the mic. Yes, I figured that. But I just don't know how to get the other one in because I tried using my phone and going in as a, as a guest and muting it that way and completely turning off the sound on here, but it still screamed. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe bringing it in as a guest isn't working. Let me. <coughs> I just looked at the night bot app too 
I just looked at that. Because if I go, if I switch to Prism, I'll probably use Night Thought. No, just enter the studio on both devices. And, oh, okay. All right. But see, that should be able to work with my webcam then too, shouldn't it? No, I can't go, I can't enter through my webcam. Because there's no intelligence in it. The, the tablet, I can go to the internet and yeah, got it, got it. I'll try that. I have a tablet, it's an older one, and I haven't plugged it in a long time, so I have to boot it up again. But it's got all my Kindle readings on it that I started reading and stopped for some reason. So I can use that again. Anyway, and I've been doing a lot of reading uh, for Oasis and a, a lot of um, spirituality reading. And oh my goodness, I just... I'm loving all the reading. Is anyone going to do any events starting April 1st? Thank you. Yes, thank you. What events is everybody doing in April? <clears throat> Speaking of April, uh, I am going to be offering 20% off of my Etsy shop all of April for everybody. And... Again, if you say you're a diva, I will be glad to give you a free gift with it. But um, I want to clear out some stuff if possible so that I can put some new stuff in the shop for May. May and June before our getting ready for our August Dakota Thon. I have a really gorgeous Dakota that I could use. I forget which company I got it from. It wasn't one of the main two. But it's her with an Indian blanket, a gal with an Indian blanket that's billowing out behind her as she's like swinging it behind her like a cape. It's so gorgeous. Almost looks like a butterfly behind her. It's like a Native American woman. It's so pretty. I have these little crystal hearts that I'm putting in the center of some of these flowers. Right in the center of the flowers. That? Splish, splash, spring. How do we say that? And a different spring event on canvas. Okay, cool. Eden, I don't know her name. I don't know her name. I just can see her with the quilt behind her as she's like running forward and it's flowing out the back and it looks like a butterfly out of back. It's so gorgeous. Okay, and these are the pink ones. I'm going to do the same thing on the one side than the other. Is it the dark pink or the light pink? That's the dark pink. The dark pink in the center. In the center. In the center. In the center. Um, well, there isn't as many on one this side as the other. Oh, I know. It's, it's going to be beautiful. That wouldn't be eaten. No Jay Wall event. 
but there is an event starting. I don't have one, and I refuse to do my one from last year. Oh, Tammy, we got to get it done. We got to get it done, girl. I have to get mine done. I want to get mine done. I am throwing out the first one that I tried, the one from Down Under, Diamond Painting Down Under. I, I'm throwing that one out. I've just decided. And it's probably not the canvas's fault either. Probably the drill's fault. Maybe I should keep the canvas and throw out the drills. <laughs> I had the last... Uh, the last meeting of the club with the diamond girls and what I did was I gave them I had so many sticker packs left full packs of stickers not just one that they were due so I gave them a whole pack of stickers of diamond painting stickers that they could do and one of them put them all over her school lunch bag <laughs> and uh, another one put them all over her uh, her water bottle and they did a lot of fun things with them. Maybe when I can't buy no more, I will do it. I hope so. I have no more on stash. Well, that could be up when you're 105, girlfriend. I'm going to work on my glass mermaid that I started last year. Oh, good. Good, good. I want to see that one done. You put up some very pretty things last time. <laughs> This B7000 I got from Amazon, I really love it because it's got a needle in in the, the cap. I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, maybe it gets my hair, you can. The needle in the cap that keeps this clear. And it doesn't rust. Yes. It doesn't rust. Yeah. <laughs> That's your point. <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear hey Laura hey girlfriend glad to have you with us how you feeling hon how you feeling antennae on here I've been doing butterflies galore. I guess it is the springtime, so it is the season for butterflies. Oops. There's two of them on there. Welcome aboard. <laughs> so now I want to see what I did to the other ones. Okay, I put purples. <coughs> Effects splish. I'm not sure I get what you meant. I know you meant mutts, not mitts, but I'm not sure I know where you were going with that, sweetie. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, at least I'm not burning the kitchen down this week. I did have lots of dishes to do, though. I got my dishes done because I ran out of tea mugs. <laughs> I get lazy and don't do my dishes right away. So they sit there in the sink. And... 
And then I get to them all at once and I yell at myself for taking so long to get to them. So I have another cabinet. I cleaned out under the sink all of my um, cleaning products and things like that, rags and stuff under the sink. Got that all organized, got some things thrown out. I had a big old baking soda box that usually keeps things fresh that I usually like dump some in the drain. I guess I had it left over from the, the trailer and I hadn't used it. <clears throat> and it must have gotten wet at one point because it was a solid brick. And something got wet underneath the sink, so I had to clean all that out. I put things in buckets and bags so that it wouldn't, uh, the containers wouldn't get wet if anything leaked. So I did that the other day. Now I have a baking cabinet to clean out and consolidate. Getting better. Did five minutes of sweeping yesterday and felt it afterwards, which was expected. I'm a Allowed to start doing more normal things now. Just have to be careful. Sweeping is difficult. It can be difficult. Yeah, be careful. Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't want to see you pull any stitches or anything. And our Bible study is not until the 5th, right? It's not this week. It's next week, right? I have a spiritual direction client coming up this Friday morning. I'm still looking for practice um, spiritual direction clients. If anybody wants to practice with me, I still have to practice until the rest of the year. <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> so, let me see. Oh, there's still motorcycles at middle of the night here. There's still motorcycles going on outside, and it's chilly. Mom and Max have been down to the shore already once this year. Going to go down every other weekend. Every other week, basically. And I'm in charge of keeping the fish fed and the pool, the fish pool, um, the water in it, because it has a tendency to drain out too fast. <coughs> if I don't have a kit already, then I won't do any events. Oh. I went and rested for the rest of the day. Yes, Bible study next Friday. Thank you, darling. That O was a mistake. I figured. Or it was like, oh. <laughs> yep, rest is good. There are times when we have to concentrate on ourselves. Isn't that right? Or we're no good for others if we don't. <coughs> Already, this glue is getting to me. Great. And I'm just doing little dots. Woo. This glue is super crystal clear. And I love it. It's not the glue that I used on the flower pots, though. I got um, got some cactuses down at the Home Depot, little succulents, and put a little stone in the bottom of the pot because it doesn't have a hole in it. And put a little bit of sand. I had a bag of play sand still. Um. So, 
I use that on the bottom. Then just potted the potting soil. Squished them in. Got a certificate for an extra two weeks off work. So as I don't feel anywhere near ready to go back yet, no. Well, you really, you really were put through the ringer. So you needed that extra time off. You needed that extra time off. Um, I did not get approved for disability. In fact, I got denied. Um, they want me to go back to answering phones. And I'm like, no. So I have to call and get a disability lawyer. And work through a lawyer now. I didn't want to have to do that, but it is what it is. I want to be able to support myself through to my retirement when I get regular Social Security. Oh, and I didn't, I didn't tell you guys last week I wanted to so badly, but I thought maybe one of my girls, my club girls might be on. I wanted to tell you, I, I was deciding whether I really wanted to work there next year. I really want to because of the kids, but <clears throat> other things just didn't make it feel right. And it was really physically draining me. And it, it does. The elevator's not working. I have to go up and down the huge flight of steps at least, you know, once, maybe twice each time and last the last couple days I'd go up like three times and it just it was too much um, <coughs> did that plus the other little problems I was thinking do I really want to do this next year um, but I really enjoy the kids um, and it just I didn't think it was going to work out. Well, I got called into the boss's office and she says, no, uh, you're not in trouble. Don't worry. But here, the fifth grade teacher next year, for a variety of reasons, won't be back. And that's in the downstairs classroom. No stairs. And she wanted to know if I wanted to move to the fifth grade next year. So not only will I be on one floor, I will be with the same kids I have this year. They don't know it yet, and I'm not telling them yet. So I'm so psyched, and I've already got ideas to decorate the room um, that are coming, and my enthusiasm for being there with them has come back. So I have two more months before summer break may 31st is our last day with the kids this year they do a summer program but it's an all day eight hour day and i said if you need me to fill in like on the phones or something or if you need me to like fill in for an hour or two temporarily I let me know I said I would be available temporarily but I can't do eight hour days and I can't do every day so so I won't be good at <clears throat> the uh, summer group but you know what I need my summer off I want to go to the shore with, with mom sometime um, let's see You lost your status in Social Security. You still get your paycheck. Oh, wow. Not sure I will always do a new start. It's just part of my OCD, ADD, ADHD, that I do a new start to test myself if I can get it done in a month. And you can. You've proven that many times over, Michelle. 
And I like how you use your ADD to your advantage because you decided that small canvases are the way to go because you know you have enough attention to get to the end of those. And I, I love that, that, that you have planned that out ahead of time, that you have decided to, to use that as your advantage. And that's awesome. <clears throat> because when I'm in the middle of a big project, I sometimes have to put it aside and do some short ones or I just go bonkers. I just can't get through it all the time. And you make it work because you go through so many smaller canvases and you have so much fun doing it and you have so much to to um, to look back on having done. Oh, you aged out. Yeah, I know it transfer when you transfer from disability you go right into your so regular social security it changes over from one to the other yeah yep i started doing large canvases now so oh cool well cool do you have to switch to a smaller one in between or smaller projects in between or are you able to stay on task till the end you do a mix okay yeah But see, everybody keeps, you know, some people say, oh, I don't have the patience for that. I'm like, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You just, you know, you don't know. You don't know. All right. Now, I want to do. <coughs> I kind of like it the way it is. The butterflies are heavily blinged, but the flowers are not. I don't want to add too much bling to those. But do you think I should add a little green? little little green where the little leaves are here so i put little green sparkles on there not on not on all the grass at the bottom but the leaves along the sprouts here what do you think should i do that i think maybe i should do that Ouch. I don't know if I have any. I don't want to do straight ones. I want to do my key. This green. This is dark green. Do I have any marquee? I have some. No, nope, those are teardrop. Those are huge. That's the right green, but the wrong shape. Shape. Teardrops. Well, I guess I could use teardrops if nothing else, right? <clears throat> All right. I have other green here. What is that? And marquee. Um, what color is that? That is light green. Okay, so maybe I have some in there. More teardrops. Oh, 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 oh. God, they're too big. Oh, man, they're too big. More teardrops. And more of the giant marquee. Well, fooey a la Rudy. Fooey, fooey, fooey. I guess I'll use the tear shape because the other ones are too big. And maybe I use the lighter ones instead of the real dark one because um, just because those are giant. 
What do you think? What do you guys think? Did you put anything in here? Yes, green. Yes. Special shapes. Yeah, I'm looking for the special shape ones. Went crazy the day in place to few Tamu orders and shine order off all canvas uh, diamond paintings. My intention is to have some things, surprises, gifts. Hey, great. There's a bag I went to order from Shine. So glad to hear someone else has order from them. I didn't know they had DPs either. I just ordered some. I just got a, a bunch of stuff from Tamu. Um, do they are they as fast delivery as Tamu? Maybe the dark ones are the only ones I can use because these are too big. These are too big. Too big. Too big. These are too big. Way too big. All right. Well, that's what I have. That's what I'll use. <laughs> right? You use what you have, right, folks? Um, I'll have to try Shine. I haven't tried them yet. Oh, gosh, there's a gargantuan one in the bottom of there. Don't need that. I don't need the teeny tinies. I need the medium. And they're dark green. I wanted a leaf green, but it does need something else. I like the green. You mean like a handbag? I am. Um, I got this um, from Timu. It has a little um, hood on it. It's waist length. I got, okay, no problem. I got um, some t-shirts that I'm wearing in class. Oh, no. A wash bag, travel bag. Okay. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah. One had scribbles, like bright colored scribbles all over it. And it said, um, broken crayons, still color. And I always thought if I ever had a, it started in church. I would call it that. Church of the Broken Crayons. <laughs> um, broken crayons still color. And. Oh, I like that. Guys, I like that. Let me see. I like that hint of green in there. Isn't that nice? It's going to be really nice when it's done. I don't know who Shine has doings until the other day after watching another YouTuber who did a haul. Not sure about speed of post comparison as never ordered from there before. Okay. I might have to check that out. Oh, glad you're back, hon. I'm putting green leaves, teardrop shaped leaves on. I wanted marquee, but teardrop will have to do because that's all I have. <laughs> I'm blinging it out. Again with the bling. So yeah, and one of them said, um, embrace neurodiversity. And it had two sides of brain, one all colorful for the creative side and one all um, like computerish and analytical for the left side. That was fun. Another one was be kind. It doesn't take much or something like that, or it's easy to be kind or something like that. Uh, and I mean, just, and one had little Easter bunnies all over it that I wore the last day of school. Uh, 
that was fun. They all liked my t-shirts last week. I could have gotten them a size bigger, so I know what size to get now. But the thing is, with Tamu, you can't really go by the measurements that they have listed. Um, you can and you can't. I mean, maybe maybe I'm just weird sizes. Uh, but I do get plus size women. Shine does appear to use DHL, though, just like DAC. <laughs> uh, well, we have FedEx and, and uh, we don't, they don't use DHL here. They use uh, FedEx. Which, I don't know, is that the same thing overseas? Um and UPS is the other one. Okay. Maybe I should let them solidify for a minute before I add the green to the other side. And then I think that'll do it. Oh, good night, Michelle. Going? Going to go to bed super early tomorrow to see some family. Well, very good. Very good, Michelle. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks for being with us tonight. Let's see, maybe I'll try my tablet next time and see how it goes. Um, let's see. Oops, I missed a dot here. No, I didn't miss it. I just didn't see it. There we go. <coughs> Ooh, this is so strong, this glue. Ooh, yeah. Now, if I like the way the pillar candle comes out, maybe I could make some for sale. Put them on my Etsy stop, shop. I have so many keychains. That didn't sell. Um, they were my highest sellers. So maybe I'll put them up on Etsy shop. At craft fairs, they, they sold the most. Um, even more than the kits for the kids. Little kids kits. That I made up. So maybe I should put some on my Etsy shop. Not for you guys, crafters, who do them yourselves, but... Maybe others might want them. And I was thinking, where did that go? Here it is. I was thinking of making some more. Uh, Cover minders, but make them out of polymer clay. I have a ton of polymer clay I can use. I want to decorate some of the junk journals and get them going again. I won't get all that done in April to put up in May, but May, June, July, I can keep adding stuff to it. My daughter said that she would help me with that task that she would help me with the uh, Etsy shop taking care of that and mailing things for me I said well you got to get the prizes you know I gotta give you the prizes she said well how about I you give me the prizes that you want to go with it when people order them and she'll pack it and mail it I said ah, deal I like having her involved in it. There. Ooh, that one went upside down. Put back there. I don't want a bad drill. There we go. Oh, you're not solid. Here, come here. 
Here. I'm glad I didn't get my nails done today. I had glue all over them. I like that. That was just enough. That's just what it needed. This thing is cool because it changes colors inside. Pink to red to white to blue to green. Green to blue, I mean. Isn't that neat? And then it looks like the light's flickering in the top. Kind of a cute gift. You'd like to get that as a gift, wouldn't you? What do you think? Is that a cute gift for someone? So that's finished. Now I have to pick out drills to do my pillar candle. <coughs> They're all going to be specials, of course. Uh, what color? What color swirls should I make in my pillar candle? We'll have a vote. Put what color you'd like to see on the pillar candle. This is my own my own little thing, so it can be anything. Anything, anything. Anybody doing anything interesting this coming weekend? This coming week? So Michelle said she's going to go be with relatives. And Tammy says she's having her grandchild. Blues. Tammy wants blues. Zara wants gold. Always say purple. <laughs> that was my first thought. I I like I have purple, blue, and gold. I can do all three. We can make that work. After all, it's just me, right? So what I'm going to do is put these drills away. I have some purple in here. Should I use uh, some special shapes as well if I can find them? Should I draw? Maybe I should draw some swirls on there so I can keep them from going crazy. Um, yes, yes, yep, okay. I should draw the swirls on first then, okay. Was that for using specials or was that for drawing the pattern on first? <laughs> Special shapes. Draw first, good idea. Okay, gotcha. You know me, I just go off the cuff and just do what I feel like. Well, these are dark purple and these are the leaf shapes, so maybe I'll just leave them out. I'll leave them out. And I have light purple out here too. So I'll get some blues and some golds. Yep, using specials, okay. Those are light purple. Okay. Those are clear anyway. Oh. I want to do something with my smoke colored ones. I have some smoke colored drills that are kind of like a gray, smoky gray. Kind of pretty. I don't think they'll, I just have so many of them I want to use them, but I don't think that'll work on this project. Okay, let's see what I got. <coughs> I know I have the gold somewhere else, so that's that. Um, let's dig them all out of here. First, I guess I should test the glue. I like to see if the glue works yet yeah, shiny specials 
to see if the glue works on the pillar, on the candle itself, without melting the wax off. It'll dry clear. So I just want to see how that does. Glue one on the bottom, and just to see if it. Ooh, here's some really dark purple. Kind of like a red purple, I don't know. Mm, no. There's some ice blue. Ice blue is pretty with it. Ice blue, dark purple, and gold. How about that? There's some square gold ones. Maybe I'll save that for special. Something special. I have to get the gold out of my drawers. There's a dark blue. Medium blue. Royal blue. There's some gold buttons. That's good. I know I have lots of gold buttons. There's an icy blue. Come on, where are all my purples? My gold buttons. White pearls. White pearls might be good to add to it, too. What do you think? There's some long blue special marquees. These are just the ones that I haven't gotten to sort into my little... Here's a dark purple. Oh, I love that. I haven't gotten to sort into my individual containers yet. There's too many for that, so I'm trying to use them up before I get to that stage. That's some gold ones. There's some gold. The teal blue. I don't know about that. <clears throat> navy, navy, royal. Ah, I needed one's pink. I bought a Dreamer design painting. It showed so many ABs, but when I got it, substituted AB for glow in the dark grill. They added crystals, and I reckon glow in the dark grills. I ordered one too. Ice blue, silver, and smoke. Ooh, that would be beautiful all on its own, wouldn't it, Dawn? <laughs> um. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, I ordered uh, one of them just because I wanted to see how the how the new um, how the new crystals are going to work out. I'm sure they'll work out fine, but when that comes in this week, I will do an unboxing on that. I have two Dreamer Design and another. Um, the the next butterfly in the series from Diamond Art Club. I had I bought that and they're here. They're waiting to be unboxed. Um, so you'll see them soon too. And I keep promise I promised Teresa that I'm gonna get the framing one up. And now that Kate. Now that Kate uh, filmed it with me, I can do that. I have to take time. Oh, there's some beautiful purple. It takes some time to uh, to rent to render it to edit it. I think that's what takes the longest time is is not taping the videos but editing them. <coughs> and use some night purple. All right, I think I just need my gold. Throw the rest of this mess away. So 
time is it, by the way? 1040? Holy Hannah. <coughs> Anybody else buy a new one of the new Dreamer designs? With the crystals? By the time I got there uh, at one o'clock, it was like a half an hour already. And I'm not sure if um, there were just four left or whether there were four all together. And I didn't, I wasn't like overly cheery about some of them. Um, <coughs> okay, so here, here are my golds. Lots of gold buttons, lots of blue, some purple. This purple doesn't match with the others. These purple match. And what blue? Okay, there's some white pearls. There's some gold buttons. Which blue am I going to use? Oh, there's some gold too. Different kind of gold. Some gold teardrop. Don't need that one. There's some bright blue marquees and teardrops that are close. Oh, that would be beautiful. These are not the right shade. That's not the right shade. Those are. Those might do. That's too dark. Possibly, but they're small, so. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is not an easy decision, guys. Not them. Not them. I might have to lay some out, like in a pattern, and see what I like next to each other. Like if I lay them out on a grid or something like that. <coughs> Sorry. I have to edit that out. Oh, there's some nice gold ones, too. Okay, so I won't do that tonight. <clears throat> I will work on that another time. So I want to get the pattern right before I start on it. But I like your idea, Anita, about ice blue, silver, and smoke. That's beautiful. And I will do the, um, the purple and gold with, like, um, a medium blue, a red, purple, a gold, and a medium blue. With yeah, with white pearl mixed in. How's that sound? Okay, so let me go back to the, to the chat here. You have to replace them back to something else. Oh, you don't like the glowing things? I don't know. They, they don't come out okay. They came out all right. They don't last glowy for long. The hubby films and adds my videos. What a blessing. What a blessing. If I waited for my husband to do that, sorry, Dad. If I waited for my hubby to do that, it would be never. Well, yeah, they've done the uh, the big one, the um, the Last Supper together. Just finished the monster one. The big Last Supper. I think it will be pretty, too. I'm looking forward to it. So, okay, I'm going to close the stream, I guess, since I cannot do anything more tonight on the candle. 
know that this is my next project and the alarm clock thing is my project after that. <laughs> Goofy things. Uh, I reset up my camera station above me, so hopefully I can get a longer, longer look at things. I have an extra monitor now. Hopefully I'll be able to monitor chat a little bit better, and I'm going to get a second screen, a uh, second camera going for streams from here on out. And you watched me um, finish a present that I did tonight, and this is not drying. This blue is not drying on the wax. I'll leave it overnight and see if it works. Not as fast as it did on the other. So I may have to come up with a different glow. But that's the chance you get. That's the chance you take. Right? <clears throat> well, I wish it were lots of free time, Tam. Um, I have a doctor's appointment and um, spiritual direction appointments and lots of reading to do, lots of stuff to do around the house to catch up, lots of videos to do, a website to work on, um, getting ready for taxes, all the stuff that I put off during the week that I feel like I'm too tired to do. That's what I'm getting done in the afternoon. I spent some time with my grandson tonight. I want to do that again. Um, my husband and I are going to go out to see Ghostbusters on a Friday night, so I get to spend some time with him a little bit on Friday night. It, it just seems like every day starts to fill up in much the same way, and it's disappointing uh, because I look at a whole week and think, oh, it's going to be wonderful. And surprise, every day is full. But, you know, but that's the way it goes, right? With a busy life, I really don't want it any other way, right? I don't want to be sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Okay, so uh, I will see you guys again next week. I will see you in the funny papers. Um, I'll have more uh, another video up or two this weekend, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week on Tuesday night. It will be April next month. Next time we talk, and there'll be a sale on on my Etsy shop for twenty percent off of all of April. Okay, spread the spread the word around, and we'll see what happens. Zara will chat. Good night, Dawn. Good night, Anita. Good night, Tammy. Uh, Michelle said good night. Good night, Zara. Uh, did I say good night, Dawn? I can't remember. But I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Yes, please hit the like button on your way out because it helps the algorithms. And I'm going to sign off the way I have been doing lately with Sally Star's famous sign off. And she goes, love, luck, and lollipops. Mwah. Good night, everybody.